Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next defensive type video. And in this one, we're talking about whether or not you should use a troll Tesla at Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and Town Hall 11. So we'll go through each of those Town Hall levels. Um, there's not a whole lot to show as far as the base goes, so I'm just going to show some attacks, and uh, that'll be in the background as we discuss this topic. Um, not a whole lot to, of visuals to illustrate my points are needed. So anyway, um, just so you guys are, you know know what a troll Tesla is, in case you haven't heard that term before, it's where you put a Tesla in the corner of your base. Um, pretty much everyone's seen that in some point uh, in a war, and it can be effective. So uh, the main thing to realize with a troll Tesla, before we get into the specifics, is that it's not effective if they know it's there. So if someone's going to know... Uh, you know, after the first attack, that the troll Tesla's there, it's not effective. It's a detriment to your base. Um, they can trade one balloon for that Tesla, and then being able to trade five troop space and eliminate one of your Teslas, which is one of your higher DPS uh, buildings, and also it shoots very fast, which is effective against like wall breakers and stuff, um, that's not in your favor. So uh, just know that uh, after the first attack, you're going to be for the most part, I'll talk a little more in detail in a moment, but for the most part, uh, that's not going in your favor. That's kind of obvious, but I wanted to just get that out there because uh, it'll be more important later on when we talk about the specifics. So anyway, let's start at Town Hall 9, if you should have a troll Tesla. I think that it's way underused at Town Hall 9. And my reasoning is this, because at Town Hall 9 right now, a lot of Town Hall 9s are being fresh three-starred. If you can survive one attack with your base not being three-starred, that's probably you've done your job for Town Hall 9. If it takes two hits to three-star your base, you've done your job. You know, If every base did that in your clan, uh, they wouldn't have any leftover attacks. And I guess from there, if you get lucky, maybe a base defends against two attacks before being three-starred by the third one, and it adds up to the clan needing to use dip attacks. So the important point I'm making is that that first attack, if you defend against that, that's really the most important thing. Anything after that is a bonus, but it's not necessarily what you should be shooting for when you're building your base. It's that first attack that's important. And because of that, the Troll Tesla is very strong on the first attack. Um, I think I showed, this might have been a live on War Day video. I think that's familiar, or maybe, like, or maybe a, no, the base destruction video. We saw that one troll Tesla, it took out funneling troops, and they can take out wall breakers even if you deploy them far enough back, if your base is like, you know, towards the corner. Um, so it, it can, in various ways, mess up an attack. When you run out of time at the end, um, you know, you just finished off the base, and the, the best way it defends is at the end, because you typically only have wizards, minions, archers, those kinds of like little cleanup troops left, and they can't take out a Tesla on their own. You have to have, you know, two hogs for it or something like that. So because people typically don't save any of that, what they find is that, you know, oh crap, this is in the corner. It's like a builder's hut, but I can't drop an archer on it. I can't drop a wizard on it um, unless I just drop like all my stuff on it. Maybe that will take it out. But people have to wait for their main group of leftover troops to make their way over to that corner. They can run out of time because of that. So that's how a Tesla is very effective at Town Hall 9 because the stuff that you typically don't deploy isn't going to be high enough in hit points to take out a Tesla on its own uh, for the most part. So anyway, um, it has its value at Town Hall 9 and on the second attack, one thing that you can do, and this is really like cheeky, is put a Seeking Air Mine by your Tesla. This is only if you think your base will defend against air uh, good enough because if your base is, might be kind of weak to an air attack, maybe don't do this because you want that seeking air mine inside your base to defend against a La Luna attack or something. But if you think, you know, hey, my base is pretty good against air, I think that the only uh, risk is maybe like an HGHB or Valks or something like that, a ground attack, then you can put a seeking air mine by your Tesla. So if your base does last to the second attack, which it has a good chance of doing if you have a troll Tesla, um, in that case, when they drop that balloon, because that's what people typically are going to do, drop a balloon on it, boom, the balloon goes down. So now they've wasted five troop space. They're not any closer to taking out that Tesla, and they might have to drop, you know, one of their Valks or something on it. So waste another eight troop space on it. And that way you are getting good value because you're making them, you know, use probably like 10 to 15 troop space, which is not a good trade, whereas five troop space is. 
So that's another extension of the troll Tesla is putting one of your seeking air mines out there. And yeah, it's a little bit of cheap warfare, but you know, how was the American Revolution won? Well, through the help of the French, but uh, that kind of warfare, guerrilla warfare also helped as well. So uh, that's kind of my point at Town Hall 9. And I wouldn't do it for every Town Hall 9 base uh, because then they start to expect it. They have that balloon ready. Um, but do it, you know, if you're in a clan, you could do it on as many as half of your bases. Then it's getting in their head. They're thinking, is there going to be a troll test on the first attack? Um, it's kind of messing up. They're looking over. They have to scroll all over the different parts of the screen. Uh, it can really play some, you know, mind games with them. So I'd say, you know, have, you know, close to 50%, maybe like in the 30 to 40% range of your attackers or your defenders, I mean, at Town Hall 9. Uh, try out that troll test. Let's see how it works for one war. You know, bring it up with leadership uh, because it can win you wars because uh, things start at the bottom. If they have to use Town Hall 10 dip attacks, um, then because of that, you know, their Town Hall 10s won't have as many attacks. The Town Hall 11s will have to do more. It all, it's kind of a food chain. So if the bottom kind of falls apart, it affects the Town Hall 10s, the Town Hall 11s, which are what really, you know, wins or loses the war. So think about that at Town Hall 9. Uh, as far as Town Hall 10 goes, it's a little more dependent because I would say, as a general rule, don't use it unless you're kind of a new Town Hall 10. You have to think, because remember at the beginning I said it's not effective if they know it's there. You have to think, is the first attack on my base going to be a three-star attempt by another Town Hall 10? And if the answer is yes, then consider a Troll Tesla. If the answer is no, I might be hit by a Town Hall 9 scout attack, the answer is no, don't use that Troll Tesla, because the second attack is going to be their first three-star attempt on you. You know, it, assuming they have Town Hall 9 scouts, it depends on the clan, obviously. But there's a good chance that the first attack won't be a three-star attempt, and that's the only time it's really uh, effective. So you have to ask yourself, you know, am I a low Town Hall 10 that might be uh, attempted on a three-star without a scout? Because as far as what I know, most clans, what they do is they'll have any leftover Town Hall 9 attacks, either if they can take on a Town Hall 11, but usually they'll take on a upper level Town Hall 10 and get that scout in for another Town Hall 10 attack or for, a, you know, a Town Hall 11 attack even, but usually for a Town Hall 10 because that's the closer attack. Um, so keep that in mind, you know, is my base going to be hit by a, by a Town Hall 9 or is it going to be hit by a Town Hall 10 first? You don't know, but you can make an inference. So think about that. I, that's because of that, I'd use it a little bit less. But that being said, at Town Hall 10, there's a much lower probability you'll be hit by an air attack. So you can try that um, seeking air mine to try to screw people up because, uh, you know, you might not need that otherwise just because La Loon, Dragons, we don't see them that much. So keep that in mind as well. All right, uh, for Town Hall 11, I'm going to say probably not a good idea to use one, mainly because first people are going to be trying two-star attempts on you a lot of the time. You'll see that. Um, there might be a three-star attempt every once in a while, and maybe theoretically that the Tesla would help in that, but mainly you're going to have two-star attempts, and you want that Tesla in the base to defend your town hall, uh, that kind of stuff. It's not, um, sorry about the notification, it's not going to be effective on a two-star attack. So town hall 11, I'm going to say no, you know, 95% of the time don't do it. Town hall 10, just to recap all this, town hall 10, uh, it depends. If you think that your base is going to be attempted to be three-starred on a fresh hit, think about it. Think about doing it. Uh, for, if, if, you know, you're a high-level Town Hall 10 and, you know, there might be a scout on you, you're not sure about it, maybe, you know, see what happens to your base in war. You can kind of make these inferences based on how, you know, three, four wars go. You know, look at who's attacking you. And if you're not if you're not having any kind of fresh three star attempts, if you're being scouted by lower you know town hall levels, then you know don't do the troll Tesla because they'll know it's there. Uh, town hall nine, I'd say go for it. Try to have you know forty percent of your town hall nines in your clan doing it. I think it's something that's really effective and could eat up a lot of fresh hits. So anyway, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be sure to check those out. But uh, overall, I think it's underused in Clash right now. And it's kind of a sneaky way to uh, really defend against some attacks. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the attacks in the background. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you can you know take these, share this video with your clan, and you know make a decision. You know should we uh, start using some more troll Teslas because they say troll in the name, but there's nothing troll about defending against an attack. So 
Uh, hope you guys like the video, like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next few videos over the next few days. Bye, Sectatron out.